Welcome back everyone. My name is Vijayan and in today's session we are going to be understanding Scrum. In the previous sessions we learned about agile methodologies and types of agile frameworks. In today's current scenario if you want to build a product organizations are not preferring the waterfall approach and are more towards the iterative incremental ways of working. Using agile methodologies and the types of framework that we have seen earlier including Scrum, Kanban, Extreme Programming, why Scrum? Scrum is a better way for building products. More than 90% of the agile teams use Scrum. 12 million plus users use it on a daily basis and there is one single definition or one guide for Scrum. Imagine that we want to build a shopping site like Amazon today. The customer is not going to wait for one or two years for you to develop the product completely and then ship it out. A better approach today in the current world that customers are expecting is we roll out features on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis, shorter stints and then do it in an incremental fashion and if there are any changes that are going to be coming to the product, it can be addressed without any issues. Let us take for example, in this shopping site, I want to implement certain features. I want to create a wish list where I can view certain products, add it in my wish list and then purchase it later. So another feature I want to implement which is reviews of the product by the users. The third feature I want to implement is a chat service with support. So let us take the example of creating a wish list. As a customer, I want to view the products, I want to add it into my wish list, I want to come on a later date and purchase it if I want to. This is called an epic and this particular epic can be further split into stories. One is able to add products into the wish list. The second part is able to come back, view it on a later date and then purchase it. So there are two stories that have built from the epic. Each of these stories can further be broken down to tasks. Say for example, for creation of a wish list, I need to create a button where I can add the product into the wish list. I also need to create a database which can store all the products that are there in my wish list. The second story can be broken down further into two tasks. One is creating a wish list page and then adding a link on the home page so that I can go to the wish list page whenever I want to on a later date and then go ahead and purchase the product. So what is Scrum? Uh, who is responsible for it? And what is the Scrum framework? This particular image is from scrum.org. All the list of requirements and features collectively is called the product backlog. We may have the complete requirement specification for some of the features and there may be some features where I don't have the complete visibility today. The product owner prioritizes which are the key features that he wants to implement in a sprint. So what is a sprint? Sprint by its name is by the quality of intensity that is going to be involved for a short period of time where the entire team is going to put all their best efforts and then see towards the end of the period what they have achieved. A sprint is typically a one week, two week or four week period, short period where certain features that are finalized by the product owner are taken up and the team develops on those particular features and rolls it out in an incremental fashion. The product owner reviews the product backlog and prioritizes the features that needs to be taken up by the development team. The development team discusses on what are the features that can be taken up for the particular sprint what are the risks that are involved and then they finalize on the sprint backlog. The development team which is typically a 4-8 to eight member team including the product manager and scrum master have daily stand-up calls for 15 minutes till the end of the sprint. At the end of the sprint they have an increment. A product increment is a potentially deployable feature that they have developed in that particular sprint. Sprint review is actually a product demo which is given to the product owner and post the product demo there is a sprint retrospective that is also done. The team discusses on what are the things that went well, what are the things that did not go well, where are the areas that we can take risk, what are the points to be escalated. Sprint planning is typically done for a max of 4 hours. The daily stand up calls are done for 15 minutes every day. The sprint review is done for a max of two hours and the sprint retrospective is done for a max of two hours as well. So what are the different documents or artifacts in the Scrum framework? 
First is the product backlog. Next is the sprint backlog. And finally, the increment. You also need to understand about the scrum board. The scrum board is the visual status of the process. It shows the status of the sprint, how the work is split across the entire workflow. Now let us see what are the different scrum roles. First is the scrum master. Then we have the product owner. Then we have the cross-functional scrum team. The product owner prioritizes the list of items from the product backlog that he wants in a particular sprint. He participates in the sprint planning as well as in the sprint review. He is the final decision maker on the product backlog. Another important role in the Scrum Framework is that of a Scrum Master. He facilitates the daily stand-up meetings. He ensures that there are no bottlenecks for the projects or any impediments that the team may have. He is the link between the product owner and the teams and he ensures that the standards are followed. He also keeps information of the team's progress and keeps it transparent and visible to all parties. The Scrum team is typically 4 to 8 members and they are cross-functional teams including developers, testers, business analysts, document writers as required. They are self-organizing and self-managing teams. Let us now understand the daily Scrum meetings. It is a typical 15-minute cadence. You don't sit back and relax for 2 hours and get diverted. It's a stand-up meeting that is facilitated by the Scrum Master. It starts at, this, at a particular time ends in 15 minutes at the same place irrespective of which team member is present or not. All the team members stand and discuss and address on three points what they did from the previous meeting, what they plan to do today after this meeting and then what is stopping them, is there any bottlenecks that they have. These are the three points that are discussed. They don't uh, discuss or report to the scrum master, they discuss with each other. Scrum does not care about job titles anymore. Organizations are now focused on transitioning from processes and tools towards a more people-centric approach. By focusing on building the skills and getting closer to the customer, we become more valuable. And many organizations are going through this transition now. To summarize, we learned about product backlog, sprint planning, sprint backlog, the daily cadence meeting, the product increment, sprint review and then followed by the sprint retrospective. The different roles, the product owner, the scrum master and the cross-functional development teams. The artifacts, product backlog, sprint backlog, product increment. That brings us to the end of this session. Thank you.